Hey, Lumberjacks and Janes, it is Rick with Stumps, and I'm back today playing more Enrico Dandolo Civilization V. And last episode, uh, we got another Merchant of Venice. Now we have two of them over here in Cahokia. I'm just waiting to use them. I don't want to use them yet. I want to use them strategically, so we're going to wait. Also, we met all of the other civs, and the first Congress has been established. I'm not the leader of this Congress, so I'm going to have to wait my turn. I'm going to have to bide my time, pull the strings with the city-states to ensure that I become the leader. But in the meantime, looks like I've got an extra spy here, and I need to use this spy. I'm going to stick him into a city-state. Which city-state are we not super tight with yet? Let's go ahead and take a look at the city-states. Uh, let's see. I want it to be a city-state that's sort of near us, okay? Like maybe Kabul? Yeah. Let's go ahead and stick him in Kabul, because they're a cultured city, and we can use that culture. Here you go. Geosafat. Geosafat, I think. Geosafat. Geosafat. Uh, Geosafat, you're gonna go to Kabul. Congratulations, you are now the ambassador of Kabul. And what are we going to research today? Well, that's a good question. We've got all of these techs in the industrial area to check out today. And what are we gonna start with? Uh, I think that we're gonna start with scientific theory. Yes, yes, scientific theory it's gonna be. And a unit needs orders, which is to keep bombarding. And speaking of keep bombarding, let's go ahead and send one more unit up there to help in the fight. Cargo ships need to do the cargo biz, and what are we going to trade with? going to trade with Hanoi to keep our friendship going. Ooh, a new unit for Hanoi. Hanoi just keeps giving me units, and that's fine. We've got the money to support them, so I'm not going to turn them away just yet. If we get overwhelmed with units, then I can start gifting them to city-states, which will give us a little bit of favorability with them. And what's going to happen next? Okay, ah, oh, Pachacuti just barely beat us out in the World's Fair. So I'm going to have to be happy with second place. I got second place, and so did Theodora. The only two people who placed were Napoleon and Nebuchadnezzar. They placed third place, but Pachacuti, he gets that culture boost, which is going to be pretty sweet for him. Lucky, lucky him. But I do get a free policy, and I'm going to go ahead and use it uh, on the all states, which our allies provide a science boost equal to 25% of what they produce for themselves. This is the scholasticism policy, and that's going to give us ah, a little bump to science. Not too bad, not too bad. And oh, we get another policy as well. So what are we going to choose this time? Two uh, plus two gold for every trade route? No, I'm going to do the quantity of resources gifted by city-states increases by 100%, and happiness from gifted luxuries increased by 50%. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. We went from 21 to 25 happiness by selecting that. And now we can go ahead and choose a new production. But before I do, I'm going to go into the city-state, and we're going to choose... We're actually going to choose culture focus on this, okay? We're going to start boosting our culture output. And with that being done, let's go ahead and... Look at what we're going to build next. And I think what we're going to build next is going to be a harbor. All right? To connect us with Cahokia, because that hasn't been done yet, strangely enough. And we've still got this battle going on with these barbarians. Hopefully, we'll be able to wrap that up in a couple turns. No, you cannot have open borders. I wish there was a way to turn off the incessant requests for open borders that the AI gives you in this game. It's never ending. They just keep asking, hey, can I have open borders? Hey, how about now? Open borders? Hey, have you thought about those open borders? You're not going to get open borders from me, okay? It's not going to happen. I'm going to build a bank in Venice. Dwell about this some more. Oh, but you know what? I, I should actually use my worker to go build some more farms because there is some new farmland outside of Venice that actually can be worked. So let's go ahead and move you over there. Here we go. Let's go ahead and shoot you there. And bam, the encampment's finally taken out. There's a barbarian musket man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Barbarian musket man. Okay, there we go. I shot him one time. Shot him one time. Good. Poland and Byzantium are now friends, eh? And somebody just declared a new research agreement. That was Carthage and France. Okay, cities we all like to visit. Um, I, I, I'm not even on the list. Is that right? Holy moly. How is that even possible? I need to step up my tourism game, guys. My culture's doing all right, but my tourism, it's another story. Apparently. All right, what are we going to research now? 
Okay, we're gonna go archaeology, which is gonna allow us to do the archaeologist thing and to create museums, which is gonna give us another culture boost. And we've been talking a lot about culture this game. So anything with culture is a good thing. No open borders, Napoleon. Jeez, Louise. All right, let's take a look at uh, how we're doing with Kabul. Okay. Have we arrived in Kabul yet? Okay, we're rigging the election. Three more turns. All right, good to know. Good to know. And we are now in a golden age. That's good. Golden ages are always good. Choose production. What are we going to produce this time? What kind of wonders can we produce? Well, I'm going to need artists and writers guild. So let's go ahead and start doing those right now. Since this uh, writers guild is only going to take one turn. No, you cannot have open borders. No, I'm not going to give you 720 free gold. That's crazy talk. The Louvre has been built, and a friendly trade route's been plundered. Ah, oh, that just pisses me right off. Just pisses me right off. Okay. Artist Guild's been built. Time to build a Writer's Guild. And time to assign some delegates. Ah, oh, Pachacuti wants to ban gold. I wonder why we would want to do something like that. And you want to do uh, arts funding, do you? Yeah, I'm down with that. Sure. You get my arts funding votes. I'll commit to that. All right, choose production now. We're going to go with Musicians Guild. And we're going to bring you guys back home. Actually, you know what? I'm going to send you up north. I just want to make sure that there's no more barbarian encampments up there. Because they like to be sneaky, those barbarians. They like to dwell in the shadows. Oh, and it looks like Napoleon and Theodora finally made peace. That's good. Glad those guys finally made up. It's always sad when you see two friends going at it, you know? You're like, why can't we all just be friends? We still got quite a few techs to research in this industrial age. And what are we going to do next? We're going to do fertilizer, which is going to increase our food output. And have those better crops, you know? Oh, that, uh, that election should have been rigged, by the way. I'm kind of curious to see how things are going in Kabul. Oh, we're friends. See that? It's already working like a charm. And what are we going to build next? We're going to build a museum. The people, they want to go look at pretty works of art. And let's see, how far away are those? Okay, so those are unworkable. Here's something that I haven't talked about, I don't believe. But the way that this game works is that you can only work within a three hex spot of uh, your city. Which basically means that... If I were to build a farm here, this is four hexes away. One, two, three, or one, two, three, four spots away. If I were to build here, I would get no benefit from it. That farm would not be producing food for my city because it's farther than that three hex uh, uh, space. However, that doesn't apply to luxury resources. I could go get these luxury resources, though the food wouldn't contribute to my city, it would contribute to my happiness and I could trade them. So with that being said, this worker is sort of out of things to do for the moment. Of course, I could build some farms on these jungles, but I would rather have the science. So I'm just gonna bring him back home and I'm gonna send this ship out to the Vatican City this time. Nope. I'm going to build a new ship and send it to the Vatican City. That's going to stay on its current trajectory with Ant. Somebody just completed a research agreement. It was Poland and Carthage. And the Vatican City wants faith. A new unit comes from Hanoi. And Bucharest wants Yerevan bullied. Well, I'm not going to do that. But man, I'm starting to get quite the military. But I have 140 gold per turn at the moment. So I can totally sustain this military. They can give me all the free units that they want. I am not going to be upset about that. Ooh, we get another policy, which I think is going to finish up our patronage tree. It is. Merchant Confederacy, which is going to give us plus two gold for every trade route. There we go. Now all of the patronage has been done. And so adopting all the policies and patronage will cause allied city-states to occasionally gift you great people. And that is good news for us. I'm kind of curious to see what they may... Whoa, Kazmir just declared war on Bucharest. Whoa, Poland's just declaring war on city-states, which is a very unpopular thing to do, you guys. I do not think that the world is going to look kindly on that kind of behavior. 
Now I'm kind of wondering if I want to be friends with a guy like that. It is concerning. Time to choose another research. This time, I think it's going to be... Hmm. Biology will give us another trade route, so let's go ahead and do that. Currently, we have 10 trade routes, and we're not even using them all. Uh, Pachacuti wants to go to war with Casimir. I'm not going to do that, but interesting to know that he's becoming annoyed with them. I was just talking about how Poland were just a bunch of bullies and warmongers, and it seems like the world is starting to catch on to that. And a great artist has been born in Venice. That's cool. I'm going to go ahead and create a great work of art. What could it be? Under the wave of the Kanagawa. Cargo ship. Gonna cargo. What are you gonna cargo? You're gonna cargo with Paris like you did last time. Gonna cargo again like you did last week. Cargo ship. Boo boo boo. Vatican desires a trade route, does it? Alright, I think I can do something about that. I think I can do something about that. Bam! There's your trade route, Vatican. How you liking that? How you like me now? Build another cargo ship. Let's get all the cargoes. Research agreement. Yeah, dude, let's do it. And, okay, what's happening here? Carthage and Byzantium have signed a research agreement, and a trade route has been established. Whoa, I'm no longer friends with Kabul. What the frick's happening there? Come on now. There we go. Trade with you, Kabul. Why, why, why aren't we friends? Hmm? You sent me that sweet, sweet wine, dude. Sweet. Got a new luxury. Making my people happy. Yerevan canceled their request for what? They wanted... I don't know what, the, what they were... what they wanted, but they didn't get it from us! But I just created a great work of music. The Nin Mi Shara has been created. Oh yeah, everybody knows that one, right? That, that famous song that I don't know about. And I'm gonna do one more cargo ship just to get it out of the way. That's gonna be our last cargo ship. Nirvan has a new ally in Byzantium, huh? Interesting. And Poland adopted autocracy. I wonder when I'm gonna be able to, to, uh, to get an ideology. I'm not quite sure. Okay, where's our last ship gonna go? Who's got the best deal? Ooh, Orleans with 25 gold. I like that. Let's go ahead and do that. And we will produce a public school this time. Sure, I'll be friends with you, Theodora. The pious. You want open borders? No, friend. Look at how shady this guy looks. He just looks shady. I don't trust you. Even though you are friendly with me. I think I'm friendly with just about everybody at this point, right? Still neutral with Nebuchadnezzar. He's still holding out. That guy. That stone-faced Nebuchadnezzar. Okay, so we uh, completed a research agreement. We've discovered oil. Our influence with Kabul has made us friends, again, thankfully, uh, because we had our spies rig the elections. Good job, guys. And uh, it looks like the third Constantinople Con Congress will convene in five turns to deliberate on the proposals of banned spices and copper. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and pick our new tech. What's it going to be this time? I'm going to go with electricity. Let's finish that off. And you want crabs again. Sure, you can have your crabs. Okay, you're friends with Byzantium too. That's just great. Yes, okay, let's go ahead and renew our friendship. Everybody just loves each other. Even though they don't. I know that it's all pretend. You guys are faking it till you're making it. The world's most wonderful people. Oh, I'm number six. I'm at least not number zero. Look at this. Casimir has zero wonders. That is, that is surprising, actually. And Napoleon and... Ashurbanipal are killing it. Dido completed Big Ben, and I'm curious to know where we stand demographically. So I'm going to go ahead and just take a peek at the demographics. I'm a little concerned about this. I I'm a little afraid of what I'm going to find out, but let's see. Okay, so we're number one in approval, number four in literacy, uh, number seven in land, surprisingly. Somebody has less land than us. Number eight in soldiers, six in GMP. Wow, really? That's uh, how much gold we're producing, and we're sixth, and we're producing quite a bit of it. 8th in manufactured goods, 8th in crop yield, and 3rd in population, crazy enough. So even though we have the, uh, like, we're second to last on the size of our land, we have the 3rd largest population, which is pretty crazy to think about. And we're ready to choose another social policy. What is it going to be this time? I'm going to do aesthetics. Going to go for that culture, baby. And a unit needs orders, which is our new cargo ship. And we actually have two new trade routes. 
we have all of the world's trade routes. This is kind of incredible, which is why it's a bit surprising that our GNP is so low, because we have so many trade routes. Like, I, I can build two additional ones. Uh, no, you can't have it. Yes, you can, but not the open borders. And, yes, I will renew my crab deal with you. I will give you crabs, girl. Pachacuti declared war on Casimir. Oh, Inca going to war with the Polands. And a new unit from Hanoi. Thank you. Since I have a small army, I will take all these free units. What are we going to build next, you guys? Uh, we can do a hospital, which is going to increase our food. That's not bad. That's not bad. We don't really need happiness. So I'm not too concerned about building the zoo just yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the hospital. And now we wait. Oh my god! Look at this! Pachacuti actually built a city. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, we got a great rider, that's fine. But look at this! Dido built a city up here too! Look at these fools! Muscling in on my game. Unbelievable. Okay, time to assign some delegates. Uh, I'm gonna abstain, you know? I, I don't wanna get involved. If I vote one way, people are gonna be mad at me. If I vote another way, people are gonna be mad at me. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna abstain. This does not affect me in any way. Oh, I gotta move stacked units, do I? Ah, oh, that's right, I have a great writer. Let's go ahead and write a great book. What did we write? Today, our younger brother, the Shuhu Zuhan Water Margin. Your All of these things that are very hard to pronounce. Kabul declared war. Ooh, our spies have encountered that Pachacuti's plotting against you. Pachacuti, no! How could you? No, not Pachacuti. You son of a bitch. Okay, so what failed? Looked like uh, one of those proposals failed. Did they both fail? Ah, we have a great artist born. And a new unit from Hanoi. And we are now allies with Bucharest. Okay, a lot of good news today. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use that great musician. And I'm going to use this great artist as well. Oh, okay. Very... Oh, the swing. Very pretty. That's some romanticism right there, guys. Uh, wait, that's not romanticism, is it? No. That's another era. Romanticism is when it was all like... Anyway, it's art history stuff. Okay, electricity has been researched. I'm getting off track here. Okay, what are we going to do? We're going to go into our cultural overview because we're going to try to maximize some of our culture stuff here. Uh, what can we do here? We can do a uh, theming bonus if we have writings from different eras and from different civs. So right now I've got uh, industrial era and renaissance. I'm going to go swap some great works. So the first one I'm going to do is swap this one out and we'll just take this medieval one. That's fine. And now I'm going to swap this one out. And I will take this Renaissance one. Perfect. And now we'll go back to my culture. And if we stick this here, bam, we've got a theming bonus now. Isn't that special? And this one is going to need us to have great work slots are filled with the art from different eras and from different civs. Okay, so again, we're going to swap great works and we're going to swap art this time. I'll take this medieval one. Do a swap there, and then I will take this one, and I will do this industrial one, and I will swap that there. And once we get our third work of art, we will get the theming bonus for that one. All right. And that is how you maximize your culture. Time to research. What do we got? We've got five more text to research in here, and I'm just going to go ahead and rush steam power. And being on such good terms, I couldn't help but notice that you'd become friends with Carthage. Okay, yes. Everybody's friends except for Casimir and Pachacuti. Gotta keep my eye on Pachacuti. But then again, Napoleon said that Casimir was gonna invade me too, and that never happened, so perhaps perhaps they're they miss they're misinformed. They've got bad information from somebody. 25% great people generation in this city. That's pretty good. No. You cannot have it. Our spies have uncovered that Casimir is plotting against you. Okay, now I'm getting confused, right? Napoleon says Casimir is plotting against you. We get information that says that Pachacuti is plotting against us. The guy who's supposed to be plotting against us just said that Casimir is going to plot against us. Oh, man, everybody is just trying to be friends and then being conniving and talking behind each other's backs. This is uh, very concerning. Very concerning indeed. 
I mean, who can you trust? I just don't know. I just don't know, you guys. But what can I produce? That I do know. What are we going to produce this time? We can do a couple more cargo ships if we want to. Because we've got two more cargo ship spots. And Casimir wants to be friends with us again. He's just bragging about our friendship. Pachacuti's become a nuisance. Interesting. All right. Pachacuti's the new unpopular guy. Very good to know. Ooh, I can adopt a policy. I don't think I can choose an ideology yet, can I? I cannot. I really want to, though. I really want to. But I can choose a policy in aesthetics. I can choose 50% of excess happiness added to the culture. And I could choose construct monuments, amphitheaters, opera houses, museums, and broadcast towers 50% faster. Um, I'm going to go with the fine arts. There we go. Just boost that culture up a little bit. Because we have 28 happiness. So that means that 50% of that is going to be converted into culture. That's okay. And look at that. We've got a great musician born. First, let's go ahead and take care of our trade routes. Where's this trade route going to go? It's going to go to... Ooh. Yep. I'm going to send it there. And it looks like we don't have a place to use this great musician just yet. We don't have any slots for him. So if you see, all of this is grayed out. And the reason why is I can play a concert if I were to go into somebody else's borders with him. But uh, I can also create a song. But I don't have a place to put the songs, you see. So he's just going to have to wait around for a while in order to play me a beautiful song. People who like to smile the most. We're fifth place. Surprising. Wow, Dido's got negative eight happiness. That's surprising, too. And Napoleon with 50. Good job, man. We've met uh, Malacca, which is a city-state. And where's that city-state at? Where's Malacca at? Nebuchadnezzar says that they're friends with Carthage. How did Carthage become friends with Nebuchadnezzar? That guy's been so cold to me. Interesting. I didn't think he would be friends with anybody. Ah, the World Congress expands infrastructure. All right, so we've got to uh, vote on another. We got to vote on a leader this time. And it looks like Theodora's still in the lead with seven delegates. Oh, no. Pachacuti's got eight. He's going to become the leader for sure this time. Okay, Pachacuti. I'm going to vote for myself, man. And, wow, Pachacuti wants to make Catholicism the world religion. That's going to be very unpopular. I don't think that's going to happen, dude. Oh, great. Now the vermin are breeding. Now I have to deal with both you and the Inca? Whoa. Whoa, dude. You confuse me, Nebuchadnezzar. I do nothing to you. I'm friends with everybody. You come in here and call me vermin? Not cool, dude. Not cool at all. Holy moly. Okay. Uh, what are we going to research now? I'm just going to go dynamite. Because that's the last tech that we're going to research for this episode. So let's go ahead and get this done. Man, I'm really starting to assess my victory path. I really need to start branching out to other city-states here. A great artist has been built. Ooh, and a great engineer. Great. That great engineer is going to help us to get a wonder once that comes about. And we're going to use this great work of art here. Oh, look at that. St. Francis in meditation. Isn't that beautiful? And our great engineer is just going to go wait over there. And we're going to adopt another policy because we are a cultural giant. We're going to create cultural centers. There we go. That policy. Very nice. Theodora entered the modern age too. And Casimir has made peace with Yerevan. I'm still a little isolated over here, honestly. Military science has been researched, and we have a great writer. We are actually starting to create great people at a very quick pace. Time to use him for our culture. Because there I we go. Not. And speaking of culture, no, I'm not going to give you open borders. I'm going to go ahead and go to our cultural overview, because I believe that we have one more work of art. Here we go. We're going to want to trade this with, like, the Renaissance. There we go. So whop you and go back to our culture. There we go. That gives us a plus three theming bonus. And lastly, what do we need on this theming bonus? Filled with writings from the same era and civilization. So we're going to need another writing from the industrial era. 
right, I'm gonna build the East India Company. Just the last wonder that I could build. And yeah, we'll keep that going, that's fine. A friendly trade route was plundered, oh no. It wasn't one of my trade routes though, it was a route that somebody else had to me. And yeah, I'll renew my friendship with you, Napoleon. Things have been great between us. Vatican declared war on Napoleon. Oh, speaking of great with us. Wow, you're at war with Napoleon? That's that's food for thought. Time to assign delegates. I don't want to do any of these things. I'm going to say no to world religion. And he's going to get mad at me. He's going to say, how dare you vote to defeat my suggestion that we all worship under my god and i'm gonna be like whatever dude i follow eastern orthodoxy sucker as soon as men decide and with that being said we have entered the new era and the end of this episode which means that next episode we get to choose an ideology amongst other things things are uh going interestingly for us let's take a look at the demographics uh not doing so hot in some places doing really well in others number one in approval surprisingly um which is strange because i thought people were happier than i am but uh i guess what do i know number four in literacy so we're right in the middle there but looks like the average is 63 that's where we're at the top is 69 so what should we do about winning this game guys culturally uh it's going to be tough i'm going to have to get into the good graces with a lot of other city states which means that i'm going to have to explore a lot more of this map so next episode is going to be all about exploration making ties with city states and really making sure that i have the most votes in the congress short of that i'm going to have to go to war and start taking out some of our competition Anyhow, I hope that you're having fun watching this series, and if you are, guys, be sure to give it a like, favorite, share, and subscribe. I've been Rick with Stumpton, and I will see you guys next time.